This is a first person blueprint project with starter content added and I've just adjusted it slightly so there's a few less folders than you might be seeing. I'm just going to show you how you can add content to your Unreal Engine 4 project. But first I'm going to create a new level and I'm going to click on default and that's going to create a new space to muck around with. And before I do anything I'm going to save that level by going File, Save. And it will default to where you have other maps saved. So it's defaulting to my Maps folder which is a good place. And I'm just going to call this um, Place Actors Test and click Save. Let's talk about the two key places that you can add content to your Unreal Engine 4 project. The first is the Modes panel and you want to be on the very first tab here which is the Place tab, so the one with the cube and the light bulb. We're going to go down to the section called BSP and this is where you've got simple geometry brushes that you can add to your scene. To add anything from this panel you just need to select the item that you wish to add and then click and drag it into your scene. Now it may not be placed exactly where you want it to be placed. So with the object selected you should see some arrows like I'm seeing here. If you don't it'll be because you don't have the move tool selected. The move tool is up the top of your viewport so you've got three tools here. The first is the move tool, the middle is the rotate tool and at the end is the um, scale tool. We're going to go through those in a bit more detail later but just have that first tool selected so that you've got your arrows and then you can easily just adjust your shape if you need to. The next kind of common thing that you're probably going to want to add from your place panel is a light and point lights are the kind of commonest ones that you're going to want to drag and drop in. So similar to the cube geometry brush cube there you just click on the item that you want to add and drag it into your scene and position it wherever you wish using the move arrows. The next place that you can add content is the content browser and yours might not look exactly like mine does at the moment because there are some different ways that you can choose to display it. So if I click on this little orange um, this little icon here that's orange when I roll over it you'll see that I can get an extra navigation column down the left here or I can turn that off. If I want to get inside any folder, so I'm just going to go inside the shapes folder here, all I need to do is just double click on it and that will take me inside that folder. And then it's just as simple as it was in the panel above. Anything that I want to add to my scene I just click on it and drag it into my scene and then position it using the move arrows to get it where I want it to go. The next most common type of content that you're probably going to want to add from your content browser is a material. So that's going to add a surface look and texture to the objects that you've got. So I'm going to double click, I'm going to navigate back out to my main folder and you can navigate using the breadcrumbs at the top of your content browser. Um, or you can click here to get a little sub navigation menu so you can have one there or you can also click here and the other way you can navigate is using these forward and backward arrows. So I'm just going to double click on my materials folder to open it up and I'm going to grab this brick material and apply it to my cylinder object here and again it's just as simple as dragging and dropping the item onto the object. So I've dragged and dropped doesn't look particularly obvious but there is a brick element on there. Now some objects, this particular object, you can see it's all outlined in yellow in one single um, line whereas this object here you can see how when I've clicked on this particular face of the cube I've got a stronger outline here and a less strong outline on the other faces and that's because if I wish to I could actually add a different material onto each face of my object. But what say I want to add a material to the whole thing? Well 
to do that I need to have the whole thing selected so I go to my details panel so with my object selected I get a details panel for that object and I can go down here to the geometry section and select all adjacent surfaces which will select everything in my cube and then I can grab um, some other kind of material so I'm just going to grab this basic floor one and I could drag and drop it on the object like we did but just to show you a different method I can also drag and drop it into the material slot that's in the details panel for any object so it's now got that kind of gray surface applied to the whole thing so once you've added elements to your scene you can select them at any time just by clicking on them here but also they'll appear up here in your scene outliner which shows only the elements that you've got added to your actual level. So I could select my point light just by clicking on it here in the scene outliner instead of clicking on it here and this is useful sometimes you've got things far away or things are difficult to select because they're um, in amongst other things so this is a really easy way to select various things. If you have something selected and you want to deselect it you just press escape and that will deselect whatever you have selected at that point. The next thing that it's useful to know how to do is how to duplicate things. So with an item selected, if you hold down the Alt key and then move, so Alt key first and then you're moving the object by dragging one of the move handles, what you do is you drag out a copy of that element. If you want to get rid of any element, you just have to have it selected and press the Delete key and it will disappear. You can also use the usual cut copy and paste keys that you used to from any other kind of application so if you select something and you copy it you can then paste it and it will paste in exactly the same place so you've got to drag it out to see the other copy but you can easily add subtract and delete things by doing that Another little thing to know about some of the types of content that you have in the browser, for example this point light, is that they have what's known as a billboard that they display. And that's because when you're in game mode, you're actually only going to see the light that emits from this. You're not actually going to see this little icon here. So this is just an icon to help you be able to see the elements you have in your scene while you're authoring. If, for example, you don't want to see that or you want to see what does it look like when I'm in game mode, you just have to press the G key on your keyboard. So if I press that G key once, you'll see they disappear. If I press it again, they come back. So that just throws you in and out of game view in terms of seeing those billboard elements on actors like lights.